I was brought into this hospital wearing the same clothes I'm wearing right now, but by ambulance, because I'd had a stroke. And I'm back here today to repay this hospital for the fantastic work they did in looking after me while I was here and making sure that ever since then I've been totally free of any problems that might give me a stroke again and it looks as though I'm just 100% better and I can't really ask for more. So here I am with a payback. It's as simple as that. My costume is 18th century. It would have been worn about 1760, 1790, that sort of time period. The colours are red and blue, obviously for the food, two football teams here in Liverpool. But you may notice I've got the red one on the outside and the blue one on the inside. There is a reason for that. Oh yay! Liverpool Royal Hospital is making an appeal. We're looking for at least £100,000 for the stroke unit. The feathers in my tricorn hat indicate that I'm an educated man. And in fact, I've got six ostrich feathers and one little uh, chicken feather. So that's six GCSEs and an A-level. <coughs> to have, have, have gone through the problem of having a stroke, being totally bewildered, not knowing what was happening, why, where I was going, what was going on, to coming out of the hospital, completely free of any problems and any dangers and here I am 11 months later nothing no no uh, uh, comebacks whatsoever I'm totally 100% well and I'm absolutely certain that if I hadn't been brought into this fantastic stroke unit who knows what could have happened it could be an entirely different story if you're admitted to a stroke here you're less likely to die if you stroke than any other unit in the north of England I, I drove to the to the cruise line terminal walked inside with my wife and I felt dreadful. I felt absolutely worn out and, and totally dreadful. And I sat down as two visitors got off the ship, two Germans, and they came up and asked me to stand up and have a photograph taken. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm stood there totally confused over what's going on, but I did manage to stand up and have a photograph taken.